Today, we'll take a look at some of the most emotional moments in football. Sometimes, one can have a really bad day in the office or on the pitch, like this goalkeeper. This horror mistake cost his team an important goal which left him disappointed. The keeper from the other team consoles him and shows excellent sportsmanship. What a man! In a Carabao Cup penalty shootout, Chelsea's Manson Mount puts the ball wide against rivals Tottenham. The Spurs players rush to celebrate with their goalkeeper, a whole but Eric Deer, who decides to console his English teammate first before celebrating his team's win. Greece would accomplish an incredible story by winning the 2004 Euros. But while they were celebrating, a young Cristiano Ronaldo was in tears. This tournament was held in Portugal, but they fell short in the final. The young Ronaldo couldn't contain his tears as he wanted to win the Euro trophy in Portugal in front of the home fans. Goretzka receives a high kick by the Liechtenstein defender. It wasn't on purpose, but a dirty tackle in midair. The German team checks on their teammate, but so does the defender who committed the high kick. The defender received a red card, which was deserved, but he didn't complain. As he left the pitch, he continued to ensure Goretzka was fine and apologized. In the 2018 World Cup, Cavani was injured and had to leave the pitch, and Cristiano Ronaldo helped the Uruguayan walk off fine. Ronaldo makes sure Cavani is fine before returning to the pitch in a crucial round of 16 games between Uruguay and Portugal. This player is in evident pain and signals that he's having trouble getting off and on the pitch. He points his feet and continues to acknowledge that his foot hurts. The keeper picks him up and makes it easier for the player to leave the pitch, and he feels better. He appreciates the keeper for the kind gesture. This Boca Jr. player scores a last-minute goal against Defensa e Justicia. The Defensa e Justicia goalkeeper Ezekiel Unsane is clearly frustrated by the loss and is also upset. As the game is concluded, a young fan from the stands invades the pitch and runs towards Unsane to hug him. The kid made sure the keeper wouldn't continue to feel sad and made him get up and brush the bad moment off. It's a beautiful moment that reminds us how football brings people together. This player scores a goal and dedicates his great goal to his late mother, who recently passed away. The player takes his shirt off, and under his jersey is a shirt with a picture of his mother. During the celebration, the player is crying to be able to dedicate a goal to his late mother, and the rest of his teammates hug and console him. Fair play. This player gives away the ball to his opponent because he pulled a muscle, presumably his hamstring. The attacker could have continued his run towards the goal, but decided to turn around and kick the ball out instead of shooting it. The injured player and the rest of the team realize and appreciate this kind gesture. This clip, Nicolo Barella, means to kick the ball out of the pitch, but instead it hits a ball boy in the face. Barella is immediately concerned and checks up on the boy who got hit with the ball. He immediately regrets it and gives him a hug before returning to the pitch. This keeper gets to this ball first and kicks it out, but then feels pain because of the striker's foot. Instead of continuing the play and taking advantage of the injured goalkeeper, the team in black decide not to shoot and kick it out for a throw-in. The keeper felt a lot of pain by being stepped on, and the striker ensured the keeper was okay to continue. A fan requests Jack Grealish to do a special celebration dedicated to him the next time the City player scores a goal. Grealish assures the young fan that he'll do that exact celebration the next time he ever scores a goal. The fan got his wish when Grealish scored in the 6-2 victory against Iran. Grealish performs the celebration as he promises in front of the camera. In the 2016 Euro Final, Cristiano Ronaldo gets fouled and injured early in the game. Ronaldo is in tremendous pain and can't continue playing this high-stakes final. Ronaldo was very upset and tried everything to stay on. In the end, he had no choice but to leave the pitch. He was very frustrated because he couldn't do anything about it. But fortunately, Portugal was able to win the European Championship for him. A horrifying moment occurred in a Barca game when Sergio Aguero was experiencing pain in his throat and had trouble breathing. The Barca medics and the Argentine decided to leave the pitch for medical reasons. It was a good decision in the end because it was discovered that he had been diagnosed with cardiac arrhythmia. This sadly meant Aguero had no option but decide to retire from football at the age of 33 due to a doctor's recommendation. A similar situation happened to Christian Eriksen at the 2020 Euros for Denmark. The midfielder collapsed mid-game and left many football fans around the world in shock and fear for his life. 
Ericsson suffered a cardiac arrest, and the Danish fans and the Danish team were unsure of how risky his health was. Ericsson was checked up by the doctors and taken to a nearby hospital. Denmark captain Simon Kjær was a hero for reacting quickly and comforting Ericsson's partner Sabrina Jensen. Cristiano Ronaldo, the new player of Al Nasser, is signing a football and starts walking towards the stands where many fans await to receive the signed ball. The Portuguese superstar sees a little girl in the stands and gifts that little girl a signed ball. The little girl gets to hold a special ball gifted by a special player. In a Chelsea vs Juventus Champions League game, Chilwell gets fouled and hurt on the floor. Bonucci notices this and kicks the ball out of play while Chilwell is down in pain. Bonucci eventually gives up on him and shows his true morals as a captain. Angel Di Maria scores against Chile in a Copa America Centenario group stage game. The goal is dedicated to his grandmother who recently passed away. It was tough for him to talk about it, but he made a nice gesture for his late grandmother. Luis Suarez claps and praises the Atletico Madrid fans for their support. It was the last time he would wear an Atletico shirt, and his emotions were evident. It was an emotional farewell to a club that wanted him during his last years at the highest level. Suarez couldn't contain his appreciation for the club and the fans of Atletico Madrid. Ronaldo again shows his class when he sees his imposing goalkeeper down in pain. He ensures Asenjo is ready to go before the ball is in play again. His acknowledgement was unquestionable when he scored one of the most beautiful goals in Champions League history. The Juventus fans clapped at Ronaldo's iconic bicycle kick goal against their club, and Ronaldo took the time to thank the Juventus fans for their appreciation of the goal. Ciro Immobile surprises a young Lazio fan during an interview. The girl's in disbelief when she sees the Italian striker. Immobile hugs the little girl and gives the girl a memorable moment. A Ronaldinho look-alike approaches Lionel Messi, and Messi takes his time to shake the fan's hand. The fan was so happy that Messi shook his hand, the Argentine enjoyed the interaction. Ronaldo did this with a young fan as well during his time at Real Madrid in a friendly. These global superstars give time to their fans and appreciate their love and support. It's incredible to see. If you enjoyed this video, I bet you'll enjoy some of the luckiest moments in football history. I know you want to hear more about it, so go click on it.